Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President and CEO BMW of North America, Mr. Ludwig Villisch. Good morning and welcome to BMW. As we head to the end of this year, we are confident that 2013 will be the all-time record year for BMW in this country. October year to date, BMW brand sales are up almost 30% over 2012. We look forward to this pace accelerating into 2014. How are we able to sustain such growth every year? Because we continually introduce new products that deliver performance, aesthetics, and sustainability that exceed our customers' expectations. Underpinning our successful growth is the BMW Group's engineering and design-based focus. And we bring this focus into every vehicle through a rare combination of creativity and foresight. On the stand today, you will see evidence of our product-driven growth with a total of seven new and updated vehicles, including two American and one world debut. All of these BMWs have one thing in common. They represent accelerating on four, acceleration on four wheels. But we also make acceleration on two wheels in the form of, of course, BMW motorcycles. Back in 1923, we began producing motorcycles long before we were a car company. And over the past 90 years, BMW motorcycles have come to represent ultimate premium mobility on two wheels. Continuing this tradition, I'm pleased to announce the world premiere of our latest model, the new K1600 GTL exclusive. The exclusive represents the pinnacle of touring motorcycles from BMW. As its name implies, this feature packed K1600 GTL exclusive is loaded with standard options and features not available to any other luxury tourer anywhere, including a six-cylinder 1600cc engine that is even 10% more efficient than its predecessor, BMW's innovative new hill start control that eases departure on steep hills, and a keyless ride feature that adds this premium convenience to the riding experience. We are pleased to introduce this newest BMW here in California, where over 20% of our BMW motorcycles are sold and enjoyed. Now back to the car side of the business. As you know, back in 1999, BMW took a bold step and invented the sports car, the sports activity vehicle concept with its first BMW X5, a vehicle that has proven its success for more than a decade. We followed this up with the highly successful X3. And just last year, we introduced the all-new X1 to this country to critical acclaim. Continuing the evolution of our X models, we are pleased to have the all-new BMW X5 on the stand. The X5 continues as the world's first and most successful sports activity vehicle, and it, it's more luxurious and versatile than ever before. But BMW continues to look ahead, offering our customers the most emotional, innovative, and desirable vehicles available. Representing a further extension of our BMW X models, I am pleased to show you first time in the North America the BMW Concept X4.
The concept X4 represents the first sports activity coupe in its class. With its low profile, dramatic roof line, you can see it has the DNA of a BMW coupe, but the white stands and muscular build leave no doubt it is a BMW X model. We're also pleased to announce that this concept will become a production vehicle. The X4 will be built at our plant in Spartanburg, South Carolina, that also produces the BMW X5, the X6, and the X3. With a production volume of over 300,000 units, our Spartanburg plant is the largest single producer of vehicles exported from the US. And the X4 will add to this number when it launches in summer of 2014. Ladies and gentlemen, what you've seen so far is just the beginning of surprises from BMW, but there's even more exciting things we have to share with you this morning. And now, please welcome member of the Board of Management and BMW Global Head of Sales and Marketing, Dr. Ian Robertson. Thank you, Ludwig. As always, it's great to be back here in Los Angeles, one of America's true mega cities. Now, California is a vanguard of innovation and sustainable thinking. And this show has always played an important role in our presentation of future and sustainable mobility. Now, some of the groundbreaking concepts we have presented here in the past have now become a reality. And just four days ago, we had the European launch of the revolutionary zero emission urban vehicle, the BMW i3. Now, the i3 will make its way to the US in the second quarter of next year, and this will be an extremely important market for this vehicle. Now, in a moment, I'll be proud to present the second member of the BMW i family, the BMW i8. But first, I'd like to give you a brief overview of where the BMW Group stands right at this moment. Now, between January and October of this year, our worldwide sales increased by 7.3% to reach an all-time high of over 1.6 million vehicles. Now, thanks to our strong sales here in the US and in Asia, we were able to offset the headwinds, which are still present in some of the European markets. Now, the BMW 3 Series remains an important growth driver, with a substantial increase in sales of around 26% up until the end of October. And every one of our core series vehicles is a segment leader worldwide. The BMW 1 Series, 3 Series, 5 Series, 7 Series, 6 Series, and the X1. And we're absolutely confident that our worldwide sales will continue to develop positively until the end of this year. We will also continue to strive for profitable growth. Now we remain on track to achieve our target of a new sales record for the BMW Group in 2013 and to maintain our position as the leading manufacturer of premium vehicles worldwide. And of course, the US plays a very major role in this success. We sell around 20% of our BMW Group vehicles in this market alone. Our plants in Spartanburg, South Carolina is also one of the biggest production plants worldwide. And since our initial investment in the early 1990s, we've now invested an additional $6 billion over the years to expand the facility to accommodate the increasing global demand for our X vehicles. California plays a very special role for the company as well. With the BMW Group design, technology, and engineering centers of competence, which influence and of course inspire our innovative thinking. Now, just over two years ago, we stepped up our activities here on the West Coast when we opened our new state-of-the-art carbon fiber manufacturing plant in Moses Lake, Washington, together with our joint venture partner, SGL Group. Now, the facility plays a pivotal role in a manufacturing process of ultralight carbon fiber for use in the new BMW i vehicles. And this carbon fiber is made using local sustainable hydropower. Now our use of carbon fiber in production cars is unique in this industry. Ladies and gentlemen, four years ago, we presented right here in Los Angeles, the BMW Vision Efficient Dynamics. A concept car which received rave reviews, except maybe from those skeptics who said, ah, they'll never really build it. Well, we've turned the vision into reality and as you know, we always deliver on our promises. So, here it is, 
the BMW i8. the benchmark for plug-in hybrid vehicles and future technology. It is just as emotional, dynamic and efficient as we promised just those few years ago. And it epitomizes BMW's latest philosophy of lightweight design, high performance and low, low emissions. It combines the best of both worlds. A turbocharged, efficient, three-cylinder gasoline engine and an electric drive conceived and built by the champions of the ultimate driving machine. Together, that produces the values of a true sports car, with the fuel economy of a very small car. 0 to 62 in approximately 4.4 seconds, and a fuel consumption of 94 miles per gallon based on the EU testing standards. An everyday range of around 310 miles. The BMW i8 is innovative, down to the very, very last detail. And it'll be available for US customers as of summer of 2014. Now, we are committed to doing our part in achieving sustainable future for the US. And we welcome the incentives which are offered in the US, especially, especially here in California, to boost the market for the development of electric vehicles. And you can be sure that with an electric or a combustion engine, BMW will always offer the ultimate driving machine. And this means a pure, emotional, and sustainable driving experience in every single car we make. Now being here in sunny California, it is natural to showcase our latest BMW convertible. You've seen the BMW 4 Series Coupe, which received great reviews, and is here on the stand just over to my right. And now, it's time to present the second member of the BMW 4 Series family. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the world premiere of the stunning BMW 4 Series convertible. Stay right here heralds a new era of open-air driving pleasure. The new design language introduced with the 4 Series Coupe is a clear in the second of the 4 Series model. Compared to its predecessor, the BMW 4 Series convertible offers a greater dynamic presence on the road with increased track, wheelbase and width. And it is plus one in aesthetics, in comfort and of course driving dynamics. The new three-piece retractable hardtop which you just saw in action, guarantees the highest degree of convenience while offering the passengers the quiet, all year round comfort of a coupe. Now there's always good news for customers who wish to take their convertible for a spin, maybe up to Lake Tahoe during the winter months. For the first time, this model will be offered with BMW X-Drive, BMW's all-wheel drive system. And for customers who wish to extend the top-down driving season, 
we offer optional neck warmers incorporated <laughs> into the front seats. You can do it in winter as well. It's not surprising that the predecessor of this vehicle was the leader in the segment worldwide. With new levels of comfort, luxury, and driving dynamics, we are absolutely confident that the BMW 4 Series convertible will also be a huge success. That's it. Yeah,